All right, what's up, family? Welcome inside the hotel room. Hope you guys are doing good. Keep in between the lines. Got your load secure. I'm out here on the hotel room, man, trucking it up, doing it up, man. So, um, yeah. But one thing that I want to talk about is um, advice, which really isn't even really advice, Holmes. All right. And that is just be yourself. Okay. It's something that I hear over and over and over and over again okay i've been given that advice if you want to call it advice um but i've seen so many people uh throw that out there to others right like just be yourself you know just just you know what just be yourself and everything's gonna be okay just be yourself well for one that's not advice um it's really just nothing. I mean, there's no advice there whatsoever at all. Um, it's just nothing. But I guess people just kind of look at that as a way just for them to feel good. Like, hey, you know why I give person advice when in reality, there was really no actual advice that was given there. Just be yourself. Um, it's empty. There's nothing there. And here's the thing. The phone was about to fall, but here's the thing if i don't know who you are then how do i know telling how do i know you being you is the best advice there is to give i don't know you i don't know how you respond how you react to what situation we're talking about here right look i'm i'm in trucking Okay, if somebody asks me, hey, Holmes, uh, I'm going to go take my behind the wheel test. You know, do you have any advice, any pointers, man? If I come off and I say, just be yourself. Hey, Holmes, I don't know you. How is that any advice whatsoever? I got no idea how you respond to situations, how you react. I don't know your personality. So if I just say, just be yourself. Maybe you have all the wrong attributes to pass the test instead of telling you, you know, just general advice, right? Like, hey, you know what? Look, stay calm, cool, collective. If you're hot headed, somebody cuts you off. Don't go using colorful language. Don't go flipping them off or anything like that, man. As a matter of fact, my advice would be don't cuss at all. Even if the person that's testing you is cussing, because believe me when I tell you guys, man. It's not somebody in a suit and tie, homie, that's testing you. No, it's somebody, you know, off the yard and all, man. So even if they're cussing it up, hey, homes, you don't cuss. Don't talk too much. Don't stay 100% quiet, but don't talk too much. All right? Uh, you know, just things like that. These are pieces of advice as opposed to me just saying, hey, just be yourself. Well, you might be a hothead. You might cuss a lot. You might react, respond to certain situations in a way that is probably not going to suit you. Maybe you are going to get cut off and you're going to, you know, flip the bird and use all this colorful language. Hey, that's you being yourself, right? But is that going to help you pass the test? So it trips me out on people that give advice and their advice is. Just be yourself without even knowing who you are, without even knowing your personalities, your demeanor. You know, you're going out on a date or something like that. Well, you know, just be yourself. I don't know who yourself is, Holmes. You know, this whole thing of just be yourself is just empty. There is no advice there. Now, here's the thing when it comes to taking advice, all right? It is 100% on you. 100% on you. On what advice you take, what advice you don't take. I'll tell you guys this right now. I know there's people, all right? I know there's people in my life. That I can ask him for advice, and they don't care if I crash and burn, homes. They don't. They don't care if I fall flat on my face. Eh? 
at all. You know, so not to say that they're going to sabotage me and give me bad advice, but they don't really care about the advice. They'll probably say something like, you know, be yourself as opposed to giving as opposed to giving me a couple of pointers or something, right? But it is still my responsibility on what advice I take and what advice I don't take. And not only that, if somebody gives me good advice with good intentions and it goes south, it does not go good for me, that is still on me. That is not on the person that gave me that good advice. Sure, it, didn't, it happened not to work out. Or maybe they had the best intentions and their advice was wrong. I should have done the complete opposite, but they, their intentions were good. That is still 100% on me, not on that person. And if that person wanted me to fall and fail and gave me bad advice with the, atten with the intentions of me falling and failing, that is still on me not on them. One thing that I have preached on quite a few of my videos is that you are all responsible for yourselves. So the advice given to you, it's just that. It's advice. Take it, don't take it. That's on you to make that decision. Good advice, bad advice, from whoever it comes from. That's still on you. If it goes your way, if it doesn't go your way, that's still on you. You are responsible for you. But I just kind of want to touch on that, man, because I hear that a lot, man. I hear people telling that, that a lot, a lot of just like, oh, you know what? Just be yourself. Just be yourself. Look, unless, unless I know the person personally, and I mean know them, like really actually know them. I'm not talking about I had a phone conversation with them. I'm not talking about, you know, uh, we, went, we went out to eat one time or something of that nature. No, I mean like I actually know who this person really is. And I know the situation that they're asking me about. Like, hey, what do you think I should do in this situation? I'm going into this situation. What do you think I should do? And because I know who this person is, I know their actions. I know their personalities. And if I see, you know what? You're the perfect piece of the puzzle. In my opinion, which is advice, in my opinion, you're the perfect piece of the puzzle. Be yourself. Because you are the piece of the puzzle for that situation. That is my advice. So be yourself. But that's because I know you. I know you on that personal level. Not I know you, you know, just because, you know, we came across each other one time or we hung out once or something like that. Like, no, no, is I know, know you, you know, I grew up with you or something of that nature, right? It doesn't have to be that extreme, but I know you and I know how you deal with these situations, whatever the situation is. Then it's okay. Be yourself. Because you being yourself fits right in with that situation, right? But outside of that, homie, if I don't know you, how can I tell you to be yourself? You know, if you're a hothead, if you're, you know, use a lot of bad language, if you're, you know, I, fill in the blank, right? Whatever it is. So when I hear people just say that to people that they don't even know, ah, oh, just be yourself. Oh, just, just be yourself, man. Yeah, I'm going in for an inter, uh, interview or something, or, you know, I'm going to meet my girlfriend's parents or something oh just be yourself like i don't know who you are dog 
So I can't tell you be yourself. That's uh, I, when I hear people just throw that out there, just say, hey, just be yourself, just be yourself. I, I don't know if that just... <laughs> If that just makes the person feel good to say like, hey, I gave this person some advice. And now I feel good about myself. Well, what advice did you give them? I just told them to be themselves. Well, that's not advice. That's just empty. That has no value. Whether they asked you for advice or not asked you for advice, nothing changed. They're, you're not. There, there's nothing there. So they were going to do the exact same thing. So without you reinforcing to be themselves, they're still going to do the same thing. There's really no advice there. So, you know, be careful, familia, with a lot of this stuff of just, A, be yourself, especially when you're getting it from people that you don't even know. And for those that give advice, if you're telling somebody to be themselves, make sure you know them. Make sure you really, truly know them. Know their personalities, how they respond, how they act, how they react to whatever situation they're going into before you give them that advice to be themselves. Because you could be set setting them up for failure. If you truly care about the individual. Because if there's really something there, you could tell them, hey, you know what? Look, you could be a little bit like this. You could be a little bit like that. You know, you might want to work on that before you present yourself to this situation, whatever it is. As opposed to, eh, just be yourself. Anyway, familia, I'm going to go ahead and be myself and end this video. As always, live your life like you're on the road. Be aware of your surroundings and always keep a safe distance. Blood makes you live. But loyalty makes you family. Until next time, this is Ed the Troll Trucker. Over and out.